Okay, so today I want to look at this really cool combinatorics problem, and I'm going to tell you why it's cool, but first, first let's read the question, right? I read this in this combinatorics textbook, a walkthrough combinatorics, so this is not original by any means. So, Mr. and Mrs. Smith invited four couples to their home. When the guests arrive, people who knew each other before the party shook hands, and it should go without saying that couples did not shake each other's hands, because why would they do that? So then Mr. Smith says, interesting. If you disregard me, there are no two people who shook hands the same amount of times. How many times did Mrs. Smith shake hands? And now this is a really cool problem because you might be wondering, like, oh, we're given like no information. How we don't even know who Miss Smith is. How could we know how many times Miss Smith shook hands? Well, it's a really cool problem. And I'll be honest, when I was going through this, I didn't even attempt to solve it. I was just reading the textbook and went straight to the solution. So I would encourage anybody who's watching this or anybody who's interested to just try try the puzzle for like five minutes and then if you can't get it continue with the video now you may have just heard i called it a puzzle and that's because i think of it more like that it's not something that you have to be a math major to solve or even a math major to appreciate so let, let's look at how you do this right so mr and mrs smith they invited four couples to their homes right so four couples plus Mr. and Mrs. Smith means we have 10 people, right? So let's just like represent these 10 people by the amount of hands they shook, right? So let's say, let's say that these dots are our 10 people. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, right? And now let's just call one of them Mr. Smith, right? We'll call him MS. Now, if we disregard Mr. Smith, there are no two people who shook hands the same amount of times, right? So the most amount of hands a person could have shook is eight. Now, why isn't it nine? Well, if somebody shook hands with nine people, that means they shook hands with all four other couples and then their spouse, right? And we've said that that doesn't make sense. So the most somebody could shake hands with is eight. And then obviously the least value is zero, right? Now, we have nine people here and nine total values, zero through eight, for handshakes that could have occurred, right? And since no two people shook the same hand amount of times, we can each, we can label each of these uh, dots zero through eight, right? So we have person zero shook hands zero times, one shook one times, two shook two times, and I think you see what I mean now. So now we have, disregarding Mr. Smith, we have nine other people who shook hands a completely different amount of times, and we covered each possible value of times that a person could have shake hands, right? So we have this, but we still don't even know who Mrs. Smith has, right? We're gonna get there, right? Let's see, we're gonna draw some relations, right? We're gonna draw some lines between these dots to show um, people who shook hands, right? So let's look at person eight. They shook hands with eight different people, right? And so we know they didn't shake hands with person zero because person zero shook hands with zero people, right? So Person eight shook hands with person one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and Mr. Smith, right? So that's eight people. Okay, cool. So now let's look at person seven. They shook hands with seven people. Now they didn't shake hands with person zero for the same reason, and they didn't shake hands with person one. Why? Well, person one only shook hands once, and they've already done that with person eight. We forced that. So now we know that person seven shook hands with person two, person three, four, five, six. How many lines have I drawn? I've drawn five. Uh, they, drew, they shook hands with person eight already. We have that line drawn. And then they shook hands with Mr. Smith. So that's the seven people they shook hands with. And now, do this on your own because I'm about to speed through it if you don't trust me. But we can continue this process. We now can draw lines from person six to three, four, five. There's already one to seven to eight. and then to Mr. Smith. Now, here's the interesting little bit of information I've left out so far, right? Because person eight shook hands with every single other person except for person zero, well, then it must be the case that person zero and person eight are married, right? And for a similar reason, right? Person seven shook hands with everyone except for person zero and one. Well, zero's already married to eight, so it must be that one is married to seven. And we can continue this trend all the way through to find six is married to two, three is married to five, and that must mean four 
and Mr. Smith are married, which means that four is Miss Smith. So the answer to our question, how many times did Miss Smith shake hands? That is just going to be four. And I don't know about you, but I think that's super cool. I, I didn't see the solution coming. I hope you can appreciate it as much as I have, but yeah, that's it. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you learned something.